What's up guys? My name is Tuan Duan and I'm here at R4T based in Denver, Colorado. And today I'm going to show you guys my rigs. Hey Tuan, what's the difference between overlanding and off-roading? So overlanding and off-roading, kind of similar, but when you go off-roading, you go onto a trail and then you leave. Overlanding, it's kind of a whole excursion trip. So you're gonna take a two week to a month trip. You're gonna go on all these trails and you're actually gonna utilize your truck and you're gonna camp out of it. You're gonna do all your daily activities out of this truck that you use and then pack up everything and you head out. The FJ right here, let's talk about what you guys done to this thing because it looks pretty beefy. So our FJ over here, I would say the main mod on this thing that makes it stand out from our other trucks is the long travel suspension that we have on here. So quick question, what do you mean by long travel? So long travel compared to Let's say mid-travel, your upper and lower control arms are all the way out there and pretty much like the name long travel, it's going to be, you're going to get the maximum travel from full extension to full compression. Wow. But does that mean you have to cut up the whole body to fit that stuff? You don't have to cut up the body, but you definitely have to change out a lot of it. Yeah. Okay. Wow, dude, that's crazy. What, what wheel setup is this? So these are RRW wheels and um, we like these wheels because it brings back some of the tuner look in the rim style. Yeah. But also RW has this simulated beadlock. It's a hybrid beadlock. So what it is, you could take this beadlock ring off. You use it as just the rim or if you do extreme off-roading, you could put these bead locks on and what it does, it allows you to air down very low down to like five to eight PSI so that you get more comfort in your ride when you're off-roading. So it's not just for looks, it's actually functional. Definitely functional. Just the rim itself is around 25 pounds. Oh, that's not bad. The bead lock rings are probably 10 to 15 pounds per ring. And then what you got on here, 35s? Yes, these are Toyo 35s, and of course, we like to run MTs on all of our trucks. So why MTs versus like RT, AT3s? We prefer MTs mainly because they function the functionality. They work really well in off-roading, but being here in Colorado, we get a lot of snow, so these things actually do very, very well in the snow. The last blizzard we had, we went and we pulled out lots of trucks that were stuck, and these MTs did a phenomenal job, but also we like the aggressive look of MTs compared to ATs. This bumper steel? This is aluminum. Oh, and aluminum. This is made by DeMello and we like to try out different stuff so we're always putting on different bumpers here and there we wanted to see what this looks like and what the weight does to the truck yes yeah, so what's the weight difference between steel and aluminum in like uh, lit same design in the same exact design you're yeah. probably looking at 100 pounds difference wow, wow that's insane why would you need steel though i would say hardcore off-roaders um, they like to go hard. They like to beat their truck up and running into the bushes, bushes, trees, uh, you name it. And that's when steel does the best job because you're not going to be damaging your truck. It's just all going to be impacting against a steel bumper. And most likely the tree is going to be gone. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the park ranger is OK with that. Definitely not. Don't be don't be running over trees in Colorado. <laughs> now, what about this guy right here? Is your shop taco? Yes, this is the platform truck of R4T. 
This is a 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro. So you got all the luxury pro stuff on the inside and the outside is outfitted with um, what it comes with is TRD Pro suspension. So it's a Fox kit, but of course we've already took that out and put something a lot more aggressive. Yeah, on it. what are those, Kings? Yes, these are King mid-travel suspension. Explain to us why you guys have this snorkel up here. So the snorkel here, just like when we go swimming, it's probably better to have a snorkel if you're trying to breathe underwater to go snorkeling. Right. Same thing for a truck, you want a snorkel to cross um, creeks, mud puddle or something like that, because you don't want to hydro lock the engine here. So this is a Baja S8 light fitted specifically for this bumper. It's a 30 inch light bar. Oh. And of course, all of the other lighting we have on this truck or had are all Baja designs as well. What about this guy right here? Is this wrap or is this paint? So this Forerunner is wrapped in a matte tan color. It used to be white. If someone wanted to get into overlanding, what's a good platform to start into? I would say either the Tacoma or Forerunner, depending on if you have a family or not. But uh, this would be your family overlanding truck. This would be your single life overlanding truck. These two are probably the best and easiest for modification. You can find parts. Everybody has parts for these two specific vehicles. These are like the Honda Civics and uh, <laughs> Honda Accords of the tuner world.